Hi, it's Emma from Body Love HQ here. I'm the Body Love Coach. And today I got a, you know, when you get those memories that pop up on your Facebook page every day. And today I got an interesting memory, which was from seven years ago. So it was about seven years ago that I had my second surgery for endometriosis. And I um, had to have my left ovary removed at that point because the the um, damage had been so great that they needed to remove the, the ovary. And I um, was feeling pretty low because I'd had a surgery less than two years previously and I realised that this was becoming a really big problem. But I also was pretty low because I had to take time off work. I knew that if I was taking that much time off work, it was going to become really stressful because when I wasn't at work, no one else was doing my job for me. It just meant I had to pick up the pieces when I got back. And I also knew that it meant I couldn't go to the gym for quite a long time and I knew that I would be comfort eating a little bit because I was, you know, in recovery and feeling a bit sorry for myself. And so I really distinctly remember that time and thinking how crappy everything was. Um, instead of really focusing on, you know, healing myself and being kind to myself because I wasn't like that seven years ago, let me tell you. And um, so today on my Facebook uh, memories popped up me being really excited because I'd been given the all clear and that would have meant that the doctor said it was okay for me to go back to work and it was okay for me to start exercising and so in my mind I was celebrating because you know my belly would have been a bit round from having recently had surgery in that area and um, yeah I would have been just ready to get back to the gym I remember feeling like that and so what I love about having gone through this transformation and learning to love my body and helping other women to do the same is that nowadays I don't look back on those memories um, in the same way. So in the past, I used to look at photos of myself that would pop up in memories and think, oh, I don't look like that anymore. And I'd stress out about that. Or, you know, I'd always be pining for the past and the way things used to be. Whereas nowadays I'm looking more forward to the future and enjoying what I'm doing right now. And like looking back on that post, I was thinking that's a bit cray cray. Like, why am I excited about the all clear? I should have been like, yeah, I want to stay home and <laughs> rest more. So I love that about when we go through these transformations and commit to ourselves and commit to learning to love ourselves more. This is what can happen is that you look back on the past fondly without any regret. You know, I'm not regretting what happened. That's all shaped me to be who I am now. But yeah, it's just interesting to see how far you've come and how much has changed in, you know, seven years, which in some ways is a really long time and in other ways is no, no time at all. It seems to have gone like that. <laughs> um, and it's kind of also reminding me of how much has changed in my life in seven years. So, you know, obviously seven years ago I was working in a really stressful, toxic environment. And I don't say that meaning the people I was working with were terribly evil or anything. It was just the wrong environment for me. And I can say that now, but seven years ago, I just felt like everything about that place was wrong, but really it was just me in the wrong place. And I also, um, you know, seven years ago, I would spend a lot of my time going to visit friends and having way too much to drink to try and get over my stress levels. And I'd just sit there and I would whinge about my job. And I don't know how anyone used to put up with me, to be honest, because I wasn't that much fun to be around. And um, seven years ago, I was also always at the gym. And I was always counting calories. You know, some of the apps on my phone were my favorite things. So I could make sure that I was eating just the right number of calories or working off anything. And I was really distracted. I wasn't living a life that felt fun at all. Everything was regimented. I had to be at work at a certain time and do things I didn't really enjoy at work. And I had to eat a certain number of calories and I had to make sure I was at the gym, you know, for a certain number of hours. And so life felt really regimented. It felt really like I was trapped. Nowadays, life is quite different because I'm in control of my time. And I can do what makes me happy. I can eat what makes me happy. I don't feel guilty about things like that. But I'm also more in tune. So, you know, if I've had a run of eating chocolate every day, sometimes then I go through a run of having green smoothies every day. So it's about balancing everything out. And um, that's how things have changed a lot for me. So think about this for yourself. Like, 
seven years is a really long time in some respects. Maybe you can do this transformation a little bit quicker because let me tell you, I've created the body love method and that can help you like make these changes a little bit quicker. So you can, you know, you can wait forever to try and get to where you want to be or you can make a decision and start today or start next month or start really quickly. Don't wait until a crisis like my health crisis happened to me. Um, don't wait for that to happen. You know, start living a life that you love right now. What I've also found is that when you are living in a life that feels really authentic and feels really like you're in flow and you're doing the things that you love most of the time, you know, you can actually create a business out of that because we all have strengths to share and we've all got things we can learn from other people. And so we can actually all help each other live better, brighter lives. I can learn from people um, about lots of different things and I think lots of people can learn from me as well. So I sent out an email today and I also put a post on the Facebook page a bit earlier, a bit about the four things that you need to create a business that you can, um, you know, that can untrap you, that can give you freedom, that can make life feel so much better and so much more enjoyable. And so for me, the four things that you need is one is your story. And so your story might be a transformational story like mine or it might be a story of what you've actually, you know, gone to university to learn or gone to TAFE to learn. So it might be that actual bit of commodity that you have that's your special gift that no one else has, and that's individual to you. So even if you're, say, an accountant and, um, you know, you, you think there's 100 other accountants out there, there's only one account, accountant that talks about accountancy exactly the way you do. So we're all individual in that way. So the first thing you need to have your own business and to live a lifestyle that feels really free and really fun is a story or something about you that's unique and everything about you is unique because there's only one of you. So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is the ability to teach others. And so, you know, obviously people go to, um, you know, to university and learn how to be a teacher, but you can also learn little techniques about, you know, teaching groups of people in a workshop or creating an online course. Anyone can do these things, um, but it's just, you know, a few little skills to learn about coaching others or teaching others the thing that's unique about you and that you want to share with other people. So that's the second step is learning to teach or coach others. The third step is marketing. It's using social media. It's using Facebook. It's using emails. It's using word of mouth. It's using posters in shopping centres. It's whatever you want to do to spread this message around because it's no point having a story or a, a very unique talent and knowing how to teach it to others but then having no one to teach it to. So people want to know. They want to know how you can help them. Not everyone's going to say yes, that's not the point. But what you're trying to do is find the people that are wanting to learn more from you. And so that's what the, what the third thing is, is marketing and finding those people, giving the message to the people that want to hear it. And then the fourth thing, which is really important, is the mindset around having your own business because it is a bit different to working full time. It's a bit different to always getting a regular income. It's a bit different to turning up to the office and knowing that your colleagues are going to be there whether you like them or not. So there is this mindset work that you need to do. And this is sometimes actually the funnest thing. It's about learning how to keep your vibe high and it's about learning how to, you know, um, feel happy even when you don't feel happy or it's about learning to to live with the down days because you know you're going to um, pop back up and feel good again in a, in a few days time and so that's the fourth bit so there's four main things if you have even thought about maybe having a side hustle so when you're working what you're doing now but you could start a little side hustle and make a little bit of extra money and start to pursue a real passion they're the four things you need you need your story or your unique Thing that you're going to be um, sharing with the world. You need to learn how to teach others or coach others. You need to learn how to market yourself using social media or, you know, um, posters at the, at the supermarket or whatever you want to use. And then you also need to learn how to keep your motivation going, keep yourself high vibe, keep your mindset positive so that you can keep going even on the down days like me on Friday. So, 
I think that's what that memory sparked in me today is just a reminder of how much has happened in seven years, but also how quickly you can make these changes when you know these four things. So over the coming weeks, you know, I hope not to batter you with all of this, but I'm going to be talking a bit more about how to do this, how to share your message, how to help other people, how to make an income from that. Um, because I will be launching the Body Love Academy soon. And that means that um, these are some of the things that you'll learn in that academy. If you want to join me, I'd love you to join me. So enjoy your Monday. It's a little bit of Monday inspiration for you. Maybe start to plant that seed of things can be different. You don't have to stay trapped. You can actually make changes, even if it's something small every day. And even if you're creating a side hustle while you're still working in your other job or whatever you happen to be doing. So enjoy the rest of Monday. I'm about to teach a yoga class. I'm looking forward to that. And I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye.